In this buffer question, we are challenged to find mass of the salt this time, sodium ethanoate, added to certain volume of a, con a certain concentration ethanoic acid to produce a buffer of pH equal 4.0. So we go after our equation, pH is equal to pKa plus log of concentration of salt in numerator, concentration of your acid in denominator pH is given to us 4.0, pKa of ethanoic acid in the data booklet is 4.76 plus log of, and I'm going to write it as still a ratio of salt over acid. First thing I do is I'm, sub, uh, I'm going to subtract 4.76 from both sides of equality. So on the left hand side I have negative 0.76 is equal to log of salt over acid. We can do inverse log, uh, so this side is 10 to negative 0.76 is inverse log becomes just a ratio. So the log goes away, so you have simply salt over acid. So 10 raised to negative 0.76, that's how you go inverse log, is a number and that number equals to be 0.174 is equal to concentration of salt over concentration of the acid. Now concentration of the acid I have is 0.2. So let's just plug it in. So concentration of salt is nothing but 0.174 multiplied by concentration of the acid, which is 0 0.2. 0 0.2. And when you do this, concentration of salt comes to life, which is 0 0.0348 mole per decimeter cube. Now what I can do is, I, since I also have the volume and I have the concentration, I can find moles. Remember concentration is moles over volume. So if you want moles of salt, it's simply concentration of the salt times volume of the salt. So it's 0 0.0348 mole per decimeter cube multiplied by your volume. Volume is 100 cm cube three decimal places to the left, so it's 0.1 decimeter cube. Sorry, centimeter cube was converted to decimeter cube. When you multiply these two, you will get moles of salt is equal to 0.00348. Now the next thing is you want mass of the salt. Mass is nothing but moles times molar mass. I gave this question couple of years ago and many of my students had difficulty finding molar mass. Now this is, uh, and their difficulty was nomenclature, uh, sodium ethanoate, so molar mass of sodium ethanoate, CH3COO, just take the last H of uh, ethanoic acid and put a sodium. So you have two carbons, so that's two times 12, plus you have three hydrogens, so three times one. You have two oxygen, two times 16, and one sodium, give and take 23. This is about 82.1 gram per mole. So once you have these two information, let's just solve for mass. So number of moles was 0 0.00348 moles multiplied by its molar mass, which is 82.1 grams per mole. Moles go away and your final answer in grams come to life, which is 0.285 grams of sodium ethanoate, CH3COONA. Final answer. This is a difficult question. So Go over it one more time and solve it yourself and just get used to it.